الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. We celebrate Eid, which is very good news. And we congratulate you, as Nasser said earlier on. Happy Eid, Eid Mubarak to all of us. But I'm talking about complacency. Watching the European the European Cup, we observe the complacency. When England played against uh, Iceland. Iceland, they're so confident. They knocked them down. They knocked them down. A country of 350 people never beat the European <laughs> Championship, and they were beaten. Germany against uh, France, so confident the German to win and to go to the final, and they were defeated. And just a good day game was another complacency of the French team who came in a very confident way that they are going to score at any time and they were beating at the injury time. This complacency could happen to organizations when they don't come on time because they are big, when they have to be here in the office at 9 o'clock but they come after 9 or half past 9 and when they leave at 5 and they leave before 5 and they claim that they are serving the people. Complacency could build, no, never build, could destroy the strongest organization. Because complacency is the first step of arrogance, or feeling big, or feeling that you don't need anyone to help you. You can do it alone. At the time we are living in, we cannot do it alone. <coughs> and if an organization feels that they are comp uh, complacent and big and have the resources, Yes, we have the money from DFID, we have the money from USAID, we have the money from SIDA and SIDA. <coughs> you'll be behind. No, you'll be behind. I'll say it again. You'll be behind. Because the poor people do not believe in complacency. They believe in action. The people who are paying our salary and our breakfast for today. Good. Complacency should not be a part of our character as a humanitarian worker. But so we should be where the need is urgently needed. Not we should be talking about the need of the other people. We're discussing South Sudan this morning and people are evacuating while people are dying. And we feel that we are the champion of the people of the who needs help. You cannot be the champion if you leave me alone at the time when I need you most. It's a sign of complacency. Eid Mubarak, I love you. Enjoy the liver and the spleen and the kidney and the brain and the legs. There's nothing of this here. Don't worry. Thank you very much. Inshallah. And the food. But don't uh, food only, food to eat. Thank you very much.